Good morning guys, welcome to Tuesday the 26th of November I'm just looking across Neighbours Field where I did some videoing last year or was it this spring of the fast track uh, cultivating some ground I think he might have actually managed to get this field seeded as well um, but we'll see in the spring I suppose so I am at the moment up in the deer park so this is the area I muck spread a couple of weeks back yeah it's got a little bit damper since then it's all these uh, like ha ha's and ditches have all filled up and yeah there's more stood water now if I manage to get this area done it runs up to that willow tree and basically across so all this was muck spread uh, in that day as well as the other two fields so yeah it wasn't too bad it's thrown out quite well it's a bit sparse down this end but it's not too bad up at that far end and so it would have been nice to have chain arrows out and got this spiked but ran out of time and ran out of dry land <laughs> not much cop really um, yeah I'm up here this morning because the boss is out for a dentist appointment so I've got a couple of hours to well, do with the little jobs so I thought I'd just go up here and check how the muck spread went and if it was moving and writing, writing down and the rest of it um, so I've come up here to have a look at this hedge just to see how we're getting on. Um, as you can probably see, there are quite a few gaps of this, in all this area. Um, pretty much from that point there, all the way up, they've got big gaps in like that. And you can tell some of the plants are really taken off, and some of them just aren't quite there. Well, our good old neighbour I and mean his contractor. Um, basically where this, I don't know if you can quite see that headland line there from this top end down there's actually a ridge there and the contractor was, to, contractor was coming down with I think it was a 32 metre boom on it, something like that and obviously his tractor would sit on the, on the hill and his boom would be waving up in the air like a what's in the wind so by the time he switched on and there was a gale blowing usually when he was doing it we'd have a load of drift that came across and hit all these plants so in certain parts it's really bad um, about halfway up it's quite bad and yeah he's just he's knackered it really <laughs> he's killed a lot of them off whereas down this end where the ground had leveled out he was actually the right height so there's no particular particular drift and the hedge is looking rather good I think so anyway, besides that, I've come down to take off some of these spirals as well. Um, the spirals are the guards that we put around the trees just to protect them from rabbits and voles and everything else. So I've stripped some, stripped some out already this morning. Um, clear these ones out. It's for two reasons really. First, I don't particularly want to look at that in another five years time, just littered all over the floor. Breaking down and flying all over the place. Secondly, I've also got another fencing project, which is going to be similar to this, except it's just rails rather than the wire. So I'm going to reuse all these spirals and the canes for the new hedge. Some people might think that's a bit stupid, but I say it stops that floating around. Plus, each one of those spirals is about 20 or 30p, plus a cane, which is 10, 15p. By the time you put in a few hundred whips in the ground it starts adding up so what I've done on the where the new hedge is going to go I've put this top rail back on again usually we only have two rails in the wire but we've added a top rail so the horses can't get over the top to nip the tops of the plants out so I've added that third rail onto the new fences as well so technically this job should only cost my labour and the whips which would be quite nice it should mean I can do twice as much planting as I have for the same amount of money. So we shall see. We'll see what happens. It depends on weather as well. Uh, say we are on a project at the moment, which I'll probably show you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it should be fine. So yeah, that's all I'm doing for an hour or so, just taking these out and having a look. So 
so I shall leave it there go on my hands up <laughs> and I'll catch you later guys thanks very much bye